Linhard, at least try to do some training. Use a staff, or a rod, or a broom for all I care. My apologies, but I cannot train right now. I have plans for later and don't wish to tire myself. Kaspar invited me to train with him, you see. You slept through the whole debate, didn't you? Fine, I'll summarize it for you. Not the whole debate. I closed my eyes only after I knew what reading would cover the topic. There you are. Don't tell me you were sneaking out to do some training. Of course not. I was sneaking out to avoid you. <sighs> How did you find me this time? A mere coincidence. Why would you wish to hide from me? Because you're an awful nuisance? Why do you pester me so? To ensure that your talent is not wasted due to your lack of... It's none of your business how I spend my time or how I use my talent. Have you assumed the role of my mother? You overplay the part. She was only half as overbearing. Wh what is the matter with you? As house leader, I'm trying to prevent you from causing trouble for yourself and our classmates. Fine, I'll try harder. Really. I'm sure you see all this as my interfering with your duty as a leader. Have you considered how it feels for those of us who serve below you? You are a serious pain, you know. How so? But you're like a mother who insists on accompanying her son to his own knighting ceremony. That's taking it a bit far, don't you think? No, I'd say that it's putting it lightly. All you're interfering is greatly hindering my research. I see. Very well. You've made your perspective perfectly clear. You're in high spirits today, Dorothea. Yes. I have met someone quite charming recently. I'm hoping we can spend more time together soon. Well, I wish you the best of luck. I wish I had some advice to offer. Alas, I do not. Eh, don't worry too much about it, Aidy. I'd guess romance isn't really something you're interested in anyway. I'm not completely disinterested. Oh yeah? Is there someone you have your eye on? Hmm. To be honest, there's nothing resembling romance in my life at present. It's not that I'm disinterested. I'm simply too busy with other endeavors. I have no time to spare for such things. That's not surprising. You're not just any old noble after all. Anyone who has feelings for you... Well, they're in for a pretty complicated life. True. And I can't ignore the possibility that I may have to marry for political purposes. I doubt I'll ever have the opportunity for a passionate romance as long as I live. That's no way to talk. You meet the right person and... Boom! You have passion to spare. Could be someone you've just met, or someone you've known your whole life. There's no telling how life will go. Something could even spark between the two of us. You and I? Now that is an entertaining thought. If such an exciting future is in store, I look forward to it. Oh yeah? <laughs> That's awfully sweet of you, Aidy. I can't believe it. How can I show my face to Lady Edelgard after this? That's what you get, Hubert. If you rested like me, you wouldn't collapse from exhaustion. As much as it pains me to say it, you're right. But to be looked after... by you, of all people... That might be the worst part of this. I don't know how to feel, to be honest. So for now, let's pretend I thanked you. Oh, come now. Even I wouldn't abandon someone who collapsed. You would have in a heartbeat if anyone else had been around. Ah, yes. Quite accurate, Hubert. Why would I ever bother to be a decent person if there were anyone else I could foist the duty upon? If your situation turned bad, it would have been an absolute hassle. I could never just leave you there. If that were the sort of man you truly were, we could never be friends. 
<laughs> but if we weren't friends, I probably would have just left you. Shame you're so reluctant to do any real work. You're actually pretty good at this. Made sure I was comfortable, checked carefully for injuries, even carried me here yourself. If only you'd apply that knowledge of yours so proactively and thoroughly all the time, you'd be a tremendous asset to the Empire. There you go again. I see no problem with staying just the way I am. But think of it this way. In an anthill, 20% of the ants are asleep at any given time. And it's not because they're lazy. Far from it. When the working ants become tired, they go to sleep and the others wake up. That's me. I'm the ant who rests so I can work later when other people are tired. Maybe that's true. But even if it is, it's still just a fancy way to say you let others do all the work. Consider me unconvinced. I'll consider you a bother and leave it at that. You and Edelgard work far too hard. I mean it. Take a break now and then. If you both collapsed, I think it'd be too much effort for me to bother with. Get some rest, Hubert. Not as much as me, of course. <laughs> Fine. Good morning! The weather is nice today. So, uh, it's, uh, really nice weather we're having, isn't it? Indeed. Did you want something? I just... Uh, I'm really sorry. I can't accept your apology until I know what it's for. Oh, good point. I'm sorry I said you were terrifying. Is that all? I'm used to that. No apology necessary. But, but you've been avoiding me since then, right? You even stopped doing your deathly grin. I am merely trying not to frighten you. Is there something wrong with that? Um, it's not working. And yes, there is. You can't quit talking and laughing just to try to make me feel better. That's not really fair. I need to master my own fear. Is that right? Yes. R right. <laughs> You told me not to forego laughing, so I laughed as hard as I could. Is it helping to conquer your fear? Yes. I mean, someday it might... maybe... Ah, I'm not ready! Caspar, I have been waiting. Ferdinand. Waiting for what? I am going to give you a lesson on the righteous path of the noble. Righteous path? What? You have a problem with my path now? We think you're more righteous than me? That remains to be seen. I heard you stopped a robbery in town the other day. Some despicable thief was robbing an elderly shopkeeper. Rumor has it you didn't wreak as much havoc as usual. Hey now, I think you're underestimating me here. When the thief showed up, the old shopkeeper was so scared that he could barely stand. I didn't want the guy to pass out, so I had to stay calm while handling the situation. Rather than fighting, I gave my own money to the thief and told him to get out of there. Or else. How, uh, magnanimous of you. The thief fell for it and left the shop. That's when I chased him down. I got my money back and gave that thief a good beating. He won't be back here anytime soon. Ah, so you walloped the scoundrel. That does sound like you. I am finding this story more plausible. Nevertheless, I think... Hold on. <laughs> now it's your turn. I heard a very interesting story about you recently. My turn, eh? Let's hear this story then. The way I heard it, you punched a foreign soldier right in the middle of town. Stop, stop. I know what you are getting at. But you have the wrong idea. Let's hear your version then. I had been browsing for weapons at a rundown stall. Suddenly, a man seized the stall's owner and started dragging him away. Someone with a less generous spirit might say the peddler had it coming, 
His wares were quite inferior after all. But without a moment's hesitation, I leapt to his aid and soundly defeated the goon. Well done. Sounds exciting. It was nothing, really. Anyway, the old shopkeeper let me in on the details. He said that he was a novice trader, tricked by a noble into selling low-quality goods. That ruse was about to come to light, so the noble had sent a mercenary to keep the shopkeeper silent. So that's what really happened. I just heard you snapped and attacked some noble servant. I figured it was worth asking about. Well, I won't deny it. I forgot my rank for a moment and let my instincts take over. Is there something wrong with that? It sounds a little like something I would do. And your, uh, gentle approach to handling that robbery. That sounds like something I might do. You were not overcome by your impulses. You kept a cool head. For the most part. I think we're starting to rub off on each other. Always looking for a way to defend justice and to lift each other up. Partners in justice, eh? Well now, that I can agree to. Now then, where is that book on dance? Hello, Flane. I'm curious if you could confirm some suspicions I have. Hello, Linhart. What is it? I've recently been lost in study on the topic of St. Sethleen. You're familiar with her life, yes? I know a little of her, as do many. But what does this have to do with me? Interesting that you would ask that. Your question betrays your understanding of my inquiry. I am quite certain that it does not, as a matter of fact. I have interviewed several members of the Academy and the Monastery. All agree that you have trouble focusing on detail-oriented work. As I mentioned, I have been carefully researching St. Sethleen's history, and I found several intriguing anecdotes concerning her life. Granted, it is not stated explicitly in the texts, but it is easy enough to read between the lines and get to the underlying truth. The authors of several tomes, all written within 50 years of St. Sethleen's passing, imply she found it difficult to maintain focus on detail-oriented tasks. Then. Just this morning, as I was studying statues of St. Sethleen, I came to realize how similar her visage is to your own. Interesting, no? I do not appreciate your disrespectful approach to this topic. No disrespect intended, I assure you. St. Sethleen is a major saint. I only mean to say that looking like her is an honor. I actually meant that you are being disrespectful to St. Sethleen. There was one other item. If you must... You are quite skilled in white magic, yes? My understanding is that you have a very high affinity for the art. Yes, I do. I am confident in my abilities. I am glad of my abilities, for it is a way in which I am able to help others. Indeed. Once more an echo of Saint Sethleen. I'm so curious as to why such similarities exist. Her crest? Perhaps hereditary traits then? Or is it possible I am allowing myself to see patterns where there are none? Hmm. I am very busy searching for a book. I will be going now. <laughs>